So I've got uh, I've got probes on four of the pins of this uh, data latch. So this guy is uh, pin one is output enable, I believe. I've got my schematic here. Or the data sheet. Yeah, pin one's open enable. Pin eleven is latch enable. So that's this guy. And then pin two is one Q and pin three is one D. So these two pins are the data that's coming in and going out of the latch and these two pins control basically taking a snapshot and making data uh, allowed to, to be shown on the output there. So I've got this all connected up with these probes. <laughs> the scope probes over here in a big monster and connect it back to the scope. So we're going to see what happens here. Alright, and you're powered up. <laughs> <laughs> the screen is bright, so we gotta it's going adjust. Oh, that's why I have to do my do my routine. Oh, and an unexpected event type eighty. Yeah. Different from eighty one. Okay, I'll do my off and on stuff. Or do you want to look at that first? No, do that, and then once once this is working properly, then I'll get the scope set up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just crash. Game. Yeah, just crash. I wonder if having the probes on it is turning it into a tizzy. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. That's all we got. So I've got uh, all the probes connected up here now. And I've swapped things around so that it makes a bit more sense on the oscilloscope screen. So this is actually scope channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, and they correspond again with uh, output enable, latch enable and the input and output for data line one. <coughs> now if I swap, pop over to the scope here, you can see everything is, I'm triggering off of uh, channel one, which is pin one, and that is the output enable pin. So we've got a, a fairly steady image here. Now the thing that I'm interested in in particular is pins two and three. And from what I see here, it looks like the two are tracking fairly closely, which is the important part because if there's a problem with that uh, that individual latch in the chip, we should see that most likely that you know there would be an input on pin uh, what is it pin well whatever the whatever pin is the input anyhow we would see data on it, but no data on the output pin. But these two are following each other, so that's good. Um, now it's still possible that there's something wrong with maybe with the, the latch enable that basically the data goes straight through and it's continuously latched in which case there's garbage data on all the pins um, but I'll go through and I'll, I'll test each of the, the latches to find out if one of them has failed and that'll let us know whether to replace that chip otherwise it could be one of the RAM chips hopefully not so that's the, the rundown at this point.